This tutorial will introduce you to the basic startup of Active Inspire and what to do when you first open it. After you've double clicked on the Active Inspire icon on your computer, you're basically going to have this open up. It will look more or less like this depending on how your computer is set up. Colors might be different, positioning of things might be different, but there's a few important parts. Right up here is your menu bar that you can activate most of the features of Active Inspire. Over here is your toolbox. Once again, it has most of the features of Active Inspire that you can use. And then this is the dashboard. Some people like the dashboard. I'm not a big fan, so I usually set mine so that it is unchecked over here and doesn't show when I open up. But it has different features that you might want to use when you open Active Inspire. Once you're done with those, you can just hit close and it will disappear. So now, before I can really do too much, I need to open up a flip chart. So to do that, I'm going to go under File, New Flip Chart, and I've just opened a flip chart. I can tell because here's a tab that says Untitled. This is the flip chart that I just opened. If I want to open another, I'll click New Flip Chart. Now I have two Untitled Flip Charts. That gets a little confusing, so what I really want to do before I make any new flip charts is start to title them. So I can tell which one is selected because it'll be bold faced when I click on it. All right, so now I'm going to select this one. Under File, I'm going to click Save As, and I'm just going to call it Test 1 and Save. Notice that Untitle has now changed to Test 1. If I toggle to the other Untitled, I'm going to save that one as test two. All right, so now I have test one and test two. I'm toggling between both of them, but they're both blank for now, so it's not going to look much different. So that's how you can open up a new flip chart and save it. 